Good morning, it's uh, David again at the Cornwall Record Office at uh, Truro. Welcome to our series of dazzling documents that we've been featuring. And today we're going to look at photography. And the Archives and Cornish Studies collection have literally hundreds of thousands of photographs in their care. On the table today we've got some really special items. And here are some images which are possibly some of the oldest images of photographs taken in Cornwall. This one is an image taken in 1841 by the pioneer photographer Henry Fox Talbot and it actually shows uh, Carclew House down at Myler. And it's one of a series of photographs taken in August 1841. And the owner of Carclew House was um, Charles Lemon, who was actually the uncle of William Henry Fox Talbot, the photographer. There are other some photographs in the Science Museum in London taken on the same day. And we have an example of all three of them here. Here is <coughs> Sir Charles himself. And if, it's interesting to look and see that you're looking at a man who was born in 1784. So through the medium of photography, we can look straight back into the 18th century. And William Henry Fox Talbot, of course, had his first photograph, the famous photograph of the window at Laycock Abbey a few years earlier in 1835. Now, with photography, these early Talbot-type or Calotype prints, they had the problem of storage. What do you do with them? And they had, had a, an idea, as w was quite natural, because they're very easily damaged, they're very easily lost, to paste them into albums. Over here, we have an example of an photo early photograph album from the collection of the Rashley of Stoughton family, and who were related to the Rashleys of Foy. And we've got photographs here of Foy, probably taken in the 1860s. We have um, Point Neptune House, which was the home of Edith Rashley. And we have also an image of the harbour, and we could see the church, and as it was around the mid part of the 19th century. A lot of the uh, gentry and the bigger families bought large albums to paste their photographs in. And it's sometimes a mixture of photographs that they took themselves because some of them learned how to take photographs. And also they bought images um, from professional photographers. Um, here's some examples of some of our um, stones and cromlechs and the Menentol and Lanyon cromlech produced by Gibson of Scilly and Penzance again in the mid to late 19th century. And the early photographers were not called photographers, they were called photographic artists because their science of photography was taking over in effect from those people who painted portraits. And here and again in this same album we have some wonderful photographs of Carey's Castle and the Williams family who were a prominent Cornish family. Some wonderful images of the family. Almost um, a little too informal for the Victorians but um, they did get informal on some occasions. Many of us as, as families have quite considerable collections of photographs and it bodes the question, do we know who the people are in the images? If so, write on the back of the photographs, ideally in a B pencil, who they are, or compile a list of the, of the people and the events and the dates. When we're all gone, no one will know, and all this heritage will be lost. So if you've got photographs, for goodness sake, put on the back who they are or compile a record of them.